am Mary Vapilsecki, a lay associate with the Sisters of St. Agnes in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I live with my husband, Joseph, in New Jersey. I'm a spiritual director. I love sharing my faith with others, and that has led me to want to take this opportunity to spend time with you. Have you ever written your own Magnificat? You know, that prayer that Mary spontaneously prays when she is with her cousin Elizabeth, after they have acknowledged that it was by God's grace that they each were carrying a child. If you are not familiar with it, you can find it in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. I was invited to write my personal Magnificat based on something that happened in this past year. I was blessed with the opportunity to gather poems I had written over many years and have them published in a work titled, Welcome in Christmas. The reflection on this experience was powerful and grace-filled for me. I have incorporated some verses of those poems from my book into this prayer, and so I invite you to pray with me. My whole being shivers with delight, creator God and source of all, as I ponder this life-giving gift. For many years, you guided me in the creation of a poem to share at Christmas. Often feedback came my way, people telling me that I must publish them. Was that you speaking, Lord? Then one day in prayer, you made it very clear that you were calling me to share these gifts and that you wanted them illustrated. I argued with you for a while, Lord, but your message just came through more and more clearly until I could no longer resist. I had to say yes. God has chosen me. Can this truly be? That's not what I sought. That, that's not what I planned. Why would God choose me? Give praise to God, she says. We praise God in song. It helps me see the reason, except what God planned, that God has chosen me. As welcome in Christmas took life, you touched me, Lord, time and time again with the messages found in these words you sent to me through the years. Pond whispers waves of birth, life, and tree. Studying what it takes to publish a book revealed your abundance in the options, in the helpful service, and in the numerous opportunities. In our successes, Jesus is born. In our failures, Jesus is born. In everything we do, Jesus is born. We are ever grateful. When we least expect it, Jesus is born. When we're most in need, Jesus is born. Whenever and wherever Jesus is born, we are ever grateful. Your continual presence through all time and in every moment of my life has inspired me to express your great love, take the risk, and publish this work. I am here for you in the manger. I am here for you in the office. I am here for you on the plane. I hold you tenderly with my love. The words you have given speak a timeless message of all you have done and continue to do each day. I am word made flesh. You are light born this day. Hope dwells in our hearts, brightening every corner, every way. By providing a faith-filled companion on this journey, who was able to capture your words with glowing, colorful images that speak volumes to the eyes and heart. You helped me to persevere and be inspired anew with each new illustration. 
My illustrator, Tammy Jo, shares this experience in these words. How do I take water and pigment and make God visible? The face of God is seen in the mother cradling her child. God's love visible in the father reaching for his son. The joy of the Lord shines in the faces of sisters sharing secrets and love. The creator's peace revealed in the calm waters and the voice of God heard in the wind. Your creative love remains constant and true for those who live simply and depend on you. With patient becoming, Jesus learns love, paving our way. Will we follow? Your words challenge the self-righteous and encourage those who struggle I long for you who heal my soul. I long for you who hold me up. I long for you who reach out to me. I long for you who are my strength. I seek you who can fill my longing. I seek you who are my fullness. I seek you who can heal my wounds. I seek you who are my all. My heart and soul cry out with gratitude that you have chosen to use me to share your invitation to union and wholeness. Word became flesh that you and I might know, energizing, empowering, inviting love. I praise and thank you, O oh God, my love, always and forever, seeking to respond with an open, generous heart. What will happen next if I fail to share light of everlasting hope? Amen. I encourage you to consider writing your own personal Magnificat based on some great gift you have received from the Lord. God is born into our life each and every day, and sometimes we are particularly aware of that gift. The Spirit will speak powerfully in you and through you as you open yourself to such a reflection. Before I conclude, I'd like to share with you one more poem from my collection that reminds us that God longs to be close to us in every way. You came to be. You came to be, you spoke the word, creation stirred. You came to be one with me that I might see. You came to be born like me, to make me free. You came to be to lead the way back to thee. You came to be to give us life that has no end. You came to be that we might learn to be disturbed. You came to be that we might be forever one with thee. You came to be. Thanks for listening and praying with me today.